Tonight we are hearing from the man who owns a car that police say state auditor Beth Wood hit last month and then drove off. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is covering this for us tonight and joins us live at Salisbury West Hargett Street in Raleigh uh, where that crash happened. And Nick, the owner of the car says this whole thing is very frustrating. Yeah, right. It is. It's been over a month since the crash. He says his car still needs work done to it, and he still wants an apology. Chris Valverde says his daughter didn't believe it at first. Some of her coworkers came in and said, "Hey, there's, there's a car on top of your car." She said she wasn't. She was like, "No, no, there's not. You know, you're joking with me." She was working in downtown Raleigh the night of December 8th. Valverde says when his daughter walked outside, she was blown away. Someone hit the car her dad let her use. I was just glad that nobody was hurt, you know. Um, I'm glad she, I'm definitely glad she wasn't in the car. Why would somebody do that and leave the car running? According to court documents, state auditor Beth Wood hit the parked white 2016 Toyota sedan. Witnesses described a black Toyota Camry partially on the hood of Alverde's car. When Raleigh police got to the scene, they said they couldn't find the driver. A police report reveals the black car is state-owned. The police report says officers found a laptop in the car with the last person logging in as, quote, Miss Beth Wood. Weeks after the crash, Valverde says he was able to get in touch with Wood. My last question I asked her, you know, is, was, hey, like, why did you flee the scene? And her response was, well, that's a question for my lawyer. She said, but maybe 10 words. No, I'm sorry, no... No, nothing like no, no sympathy. No, they're, they're just like emotionless. In a report given to CBS 17 on Friday from the State Department of Administration, Wood said, quote, I made a sharp, sudden turn and struck a parked vehicle. Friday, Wood's office declined again to comment on the matter. An attorney for Wood did not respond to requests for comment. And for her not to say anything, that's not good. And Wood was charged on December 12th with a Class 2 misdemeanor hit and run resulting, resulting in property damage and an infraction for unsafe movement she's expected in court on Thursday. Live in Raleigh tonight, Nick Sertovitz, CBS 17 News. All right, Nick, thank you.